Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl A Zine Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay, guys, so a lot happened in the house last night. Yes, guys. In fact, yesterday was filled with lots of activities, mainly centered around Ilebaye. I think by now, Ilebaye has got to be the most talked about. Yes, the most talked about Big Brother Niger All-Stars housemates, both in the house by the housemates and also outside of the house by the viewers. Yes, guys. So they had their wager presentation last night, which I did watch, which I knew they would lose because, I mean, listening to them, watching them, I think the only part I actually did enjoy, let me not lie, I enjoyed the skits that they did which I don't even know if I'm to call that a skit or mimicking other housemates. It was truly hilarious. EK, Alex, Doyen, they killed it. I loved it. I laughed so much. Then, um, Summer's part in the song and also Perez part. And it looks like Big Brother, just as me, enjoyed that as well. And he congratulated them and commented and commended, you know, those people, the housemate that actually did a great job. But the part of white money is what I do not understand why he commended white money. I'm not going to lie. You know me. I will say what I have to say with no filters. Like, we would say that white money, you know, will make our very own legendary fella proud or something of that sort. I'm like, big brother, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, with all due respect, sir, did you smoke anything? Because... <laughs> I may not be a good singer, but I definitely have good ears for music. And what White Money was singing yesterday had in no way, like it does not even sound like Fela. I beg, let's respect the man and his legacy. It has nothing to do with Fela. This guy even forgot his lyrics on stage. After all the whole, oh, this is how I make my money. They come in Liberia. They come in Ghana. You still went there and you forgot your lyrics. Yes, I'm going to say it. He did because I paid very keen attention to what they were doing. Every other person remembered their line, but White Money, the one person that carried it uh, on his head, you know, forgot it. I think the only thing I will agree with Big Brother is how he took the tax personal. Yes, guys. And... By taking it personal too, I think it also contributed to some of the things that happened during the wager. Yes, so they lost their wager and the blame game started. Yes, I mean, when will these housemates actually learn? You were given a wager on Monday. You did nothing, except for a few people. A few people, and I'm talking about the likes of White Money, Pere, and Soma. Maybe Prince and I think Omashala also. But majority of them, including the head of house herself, did nothing until yesterday. That was when she started asking about all that. So they had a meeting about the wager. I think that was on Monday. They said they were going to act. I think they assigned people that were going to write the script. Mind you, that thing they presented yesterday was not what they wrote. Yes, guys. So they had a plan. Do you understand? I think it was given to E.K. and some other person to write a script. In fact, Big Brother actually did provide for them a wedding gown and a tuxedo because there was supposed to be like a wedding. I even Adekule confirmed it. It was supposed to be Adekule and Venita acting as a couple where they get married and all of that. Like it was a whole different script. And that was why they wrote it in the props that they needed. And Big Brother did actually provide that for them. But last minute, trust this housemate last minute to change it to a mimicking game. Now, some people have already indicated that they wanted to act. People like Ile Baye, people like Lucy. You know, they wanted to act. But since the acting was not coming forth, what what did they do? They turned them to another thing altogether. Ile Baye said, I cannot mimic. Like, I thought we are going to be having, you know, a script where you tell me my lines and I practice my lines and then I come and I execute it. But no, that wasn't the case. Even Lucy thought the same thing too. And, you know, that was how, why we got what we got yesterday in their presentation. Ile Baye was obviously very nonchalant about the whole thing. She didn't, okay, I wanted to ask you guys to not, you know, 
give me what I wanted and you guys made me a backup singer, a backup dancer rather with no routines at all. It's just like, okay, go and do it. And this is just like a few minutes to the time of the wager presentation. And when people like asked her a question and she said exactly what it is and she and other people were trying to make it look like she sabotaged the wager presentation. It was now Alex explaining to him, this is what happened. She was actually supposed to act. She kept asking EK about it. Even CC also confirmed that she too was asking EK about the script. And at some point, last minute, they changed the whole thing. Props that Big Brother gave, they changed everything. And then they decided to start mimicking people. I guess they did that because they didn't have a script and they just had to go. I think they even asked Venita to write how the show would go for them or something of that sort. Last minute, and all these things happened yesterday. All because there was no, I mean, there was no leadership in that house. Honestly, there was none. Let's go back to the head of house for a bit because they came out of the wager and they were blaming some certain people. Doing was saying that Ilebae, Adekule, and Sisi were the ones that sabotaged the wager presentation. And I'm like, hold up a minute. I have a problem with when people tend to see blame or put blame on other people without actually looking at what actually caused what happened doing it herself on her own from the first day i remember when people better asked her in the diary room about this whole wager she said that i mean she doesn't even care like if they lose they lose she kept making such statements you are the head of house what has what did actually okay let's let's put cast on the table what did doing actually do what did Doyen actually do until the last minute? It was last minute yesterday that she had calling them, oh, do this one, do this one, do that one. But no, she cannot blame herself for this. She is looking for other people to blame. Okay, Ilebaye. Ilebaye is to be blamed because of the whole thing that happened between her and White Money the day before. Was that what actually sabotaged the wager? Adekule, what was Adekule supposed to do? Honestly, what was he supposed to do? I mean, this house, they have this whole nonsense habit of not practicing for their wager at all. They all focus on the music aspect because they feel like that's the only aspect Big Brother was supposed to be judging by. Forgetting that Big Brother asked them to give him a skit. They refuse totally to practice that. And I've noticed that as a pattern this season, they don't take their wager presentation seriously. They wait till the last minute. And I think it's because Big Brother has been cushioning them. He's kind of like been rewarding them for this foolish thing that they do. I remember there was this wager presentation that I was like, nah, they are not supposed to win this thing. And honestly, their wagers, the presentation of their wagers this season has been below expectation. I mean, level up season had more interesting wager presentation than this. I mean, that was... A, um, a season that people were actually using electric whatever wires batteries to be giving us light i mean cheesy fin- like they gave us even the seasons before that the shine your eye season the lockdown season the pepper them season they took their wages seriously so why on earth is the all-star season giving us something that is not even worth calling an all-star presentation I think the only wager that I would say, okay, yeah, they killed it, and not even 100%, was the whole money thing, because Venita actually did a great job drawing that money, honestly. And that wager, they would have lost it if not for Venita drawing it. Let's call it spade a spade. So, with them coming out, pushing blames, apportioning blames, oh, it's a labor, yeah, this one saying it's a labor, yeah. I mean, that not that tiring for them? I mean, for some people that said, oh, that we've clocked Ilebaye's game, you've clocked her game, but you are still making her the highlight of your day. All through the day yesterday, trust me, it was all about Ilebaye. Everywhere. At some point, the dining room Ilebaye, the sitting room Ilebaye, upstairs Ilebaye, downstairs Ilebaye. It was so crazy, guys. I'm like, ah, these people don't even know what they are doing. You claim you are so smart that you've clocked somebody's game, but you are still the one antagonizing the person, making the person look like the person has been isolated. What do you think will happen when the so-called gullible Nigerians, in quote, because they called us gullible, <laughs> they said we used to watch the back of our TV, 
you know i think yesterday i think what even pissed me off more was white money talking about nigerians how we love to vote uh, for pity party whatever and all that i'm like guy if i start to remind you of your season the shine your eye season and how you won uh i think you need to have a rethink why would white money of all people talk about somebody trying to win with PT party saying that, Oh, if you want, if you are going to win, win normal, not with PT and all of that. Why money? Like if we are talking about your season, Licorice actually deserves to win, but they gave you that win because you came with this whole PT thing. PT me. I came from this. I came from that. Oh, um, I like to cook for everybody. I didn't even find anything to eat. I had to use one and one, put two and two together to make sure people eat. And I only got the scrape from the pot. I make sure this person eats. I make sure that person eats. That was your game, white money. That was your game. Like, basically, it's the same victim and pity party. Which Pere actually helped you a lot by those things he did to you during that um during your season. So if anybody would say or talk about pity or victim, I don't think white money should be the one. Honestly, I don't think so. So seeing them talk about Ilebaye this, I'm not saying once again, I'm not saying Ilebaye is innocent, but the way they are making the girl, in fact, they are the ones now making this girl way more famous than she is. They are the ones pushing her to the top. They might not know this, but it's the truth. Whether Ilebaye wins the show or not, fact is that Ilebaye has become way more popular than most of them in that house. Fact is that even when she comes out a lot, she will be getting a lot thanks to most of the things that they have done in that house. I expected some of these your faves to be actually smarter than this. I mean, they are the OGs. They've been on this show five, four, what, six years ago. I think they should know how it works. It's not just about what happens in the house, but also what happens out of the house. But I mean, it's the game. So let's see what they have in store for us. We are going to be having the Saturday night party. And we are going to be having the Pepsi tax. Yes. I mean, that's a big one. I mean, everybody loves the Pepsi tax because Pepsi takes people on trips. Pepsi hands out you know, lots of heavy cash. <laughs> yes. So we are looking forward to that. And you all know with Pepsi, it's all about music. And I think they are also going to be sponsoring the Saturday Night Party. I wish they bring that DJ or those DJs they brought last time during the level up season. I wish they also give them that drink that they gave them during the la- level up season. I honestly cannot wait for that Pepsi tax today. But what are your thoughts on their wager presentation? Do you think that Big Brother made a mistake by not giving them the win? I think this should be a wake up call for the housemates for them to, you know, be more serious about their wager. I mean, in Chizzy's voice, don't they know how to win wager? They should go and learn how to win wager. Yes, you might not be winning cash from that wager presentation, but you are also showcasing your talent, your dedication, and your work ethic through that. I mean, people are watching. Brands are actually watching. That's all I have to say about this. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. On that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Izzy Williams. 